Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nur Shafika Binti Sa'id. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nur Adlina Binti Haryadi. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. My name is Nur Al Husna Binti Yusuf. Hello everyone. My name is Sandra Tuan. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nur Iza Binti Muhammad Yusuf. Hello guys, my name is Mamu Murshid Kamilah Bin Muhammad Yusuf and you can call me Murshid Yusuf. Finally, my assignment is done. I feel hungry. I asked my friend Siti to call to join me to eat nasi lemak in this morning. Then I will send the location to meet her there. We go to the counter to order nasi lemak. Oh yeah, Siti, do you know the story about this nasi lemak? By the way, this nasi lemak is a traditional Malay food originating from Peninsular Malaysia since ancient times. Until recent times, nasi lemak has become a very popular food and is used as a staple from food regardless of morning, afternoon or night. The night nasi lemak gets its title from the way coconut milk is used to cook rice. Coconut milk in particular is a cooking ingredient that is often used by the traditional Malay community. Therefore, the story is nasi lemak is linked to the use of coconut milk in rice which makes the rice taste fatty. I see, so this one was not the original nasi lemak, right? Yes, Siti. This one was not the original nasi lemak. It is because in this modern time, there are a lot of variant nasi lemak and this is the one of it. Then we continue to eat. I think I want to call Husna. Yo, hello Adele. Hi Husna, what are you doing? Nah, I do nothing. Just scroll my social media. Adele, do you know about Ambuyat? Yes, I do. Ambuyat is traditional food in Sabah. People in Sabah eat ambuyat has a replacement for the rice, but now ambuyat is getting forgotten, and no many people know how to make it ambuyat. Oh, do you want to try ambuyat? Because I know one restaurant ambuyat is very famous. Wow, that sounds great! I'm so excited. I will to take you to the restaurant tomorrow with other friends. <music> I told Noor about one of the restaurant that prepare traditional food which is rendang. Very delicious and popular. This food is often chosen by almost people during Hari Raya. Yeah, 
the speaker. By the way, rendang is one of the traditional food from Minangkabau, Indonesia. Rendang lowland steak and crunchy is also different generally with processed meat. That is chewy on a delicious sauce. There are two types of rendang, which is chicken and milk. Rendang is a traditional food that is popular during Hari Raya. It's very delicious, right? Can you give me the feedback? Yeah, I love it so much. I will give 10 over 10. Actually, rendang can be found in any restaurant now and can be eaten even if it's not on end, right? It's true. So we can eat. And the traditional food is remembering society. Thank you for your time today. Very appreciated. Okay, you are welcome, Pika. Hello everyone, I'm making this vlog because I want to talk about a traditional food which is roti canai. Roti canai is an Indian fat bread dish that can be found in several countries in Southeast Asia, especially in Brunei, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Singapore. It is usually served with dal or other type of curry, but also can be cooked in a range of sweet or savory variation made with variety ingredients such as meat, egg, and cheese. As you know, roti canai was brought by Indians during the era of British Malay, the Dutch is Indies, and the Strait Settlements. Hmm, talking about roti canai makes me hungry. I should go and find some to eat. Let's go! Wow, look at the curry. It's so thick. Wow, it looks delicious. Let's enjoy the food. Satay is believed to originate and has spread almost through Indonesia where it has become a national dish. Satay is also popular in most Southeast Asian countries including the Philippines, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, and Vietnam. Satay is Javanese cheese. Most Malay in Malaysia do not eat meat alone. They is usually combined by rice in the form of katupat and nasi pit. Satay sauce is prepared from cow beans and mixed and cooked with various herbs. Hello guys, my name is Mama Roshi Kamila, I'm Mama Yusuf and I'm Mama Yusuf.
call me Murshid Yusuf. sharing with your guys uh, the traditional food that I mean is uh, laksa Sarawak Sarawak laksa is a dish originating from the state of Sarawak the main ingredient is sambal laksa made from various ingredients in the meantime many Sarawak laksa paste have been commercial by local entrepreneurs among the one I have and often buy is Haji Manan Sarawak Laksa Paste. Super but delicious. That's why I like Laksa Sarawak because it's make it's easy to make and easy to eat, nice to eat, very delicious. Woo! Laksa Sarawak uh, is suitable for breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, and even at the night. But mostly people at Sarawak uh, like to eat laksa for breakfast because it's hot and spicy. It's just getting. <laughs> That's all for me. So I hope you guys uh, you should try the laksa Sarawak. Love the laksa. <laughs>